Good evening, class. Hello. Good evening, Cesar. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. We are going to get started in five minutes, okay? Thank you for joining. Yes. Okay.
Good evening, class. How are you today? Thank you for being here. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, Flor Morena, Fredis Eliseo, Matthew, and Julio Cesar. Okay, it is good to have you here. I am so glad that all of you are here, class. And Miguel Angel, welcome. Okay, class, today we're going to get started in a different way. Yeah, Maria Isabel, welcome. So, uh, it is nice to have you here, Maria Isabel. Okay, <laughs> the camera is on, Maria Isabel. Okay, <laughs> and remember that everything is recorded here. Okay, no problem, Miss, those things happen, okay? <laughs> and here we go okay as i was telling you class uh, today we're going to start the class in a kind of different way okay because some of you were absent yesterday so i'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can have a feedback of what you did yesterday you are going to share with your partners what we practiced yesterday in two minutes you are going to tell for example maria isabel was absent yesterday you're going to tell her what you remember we did yesterday, okay? And here we have, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six at the moment. So I'm going to ask the platform to divide you, okay? And you recall, get ready with your manual, with, with your notebook, and share with your partners what we did yesterday in class, what we practiced, okay? So here we go, I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? So uh, let's wait. Okay, Carlos is here. I'm going to send you the invitation good right evening, now. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Okay, sharing the feedback right now. Later, we're going to double check if you did it in a correct way or if you missed something, okay? Join your groups, please. Go to your groups. Okay, go to your groups and share with your partners what you remember about what we practiced yesterday. In two minutes, very fast. What was the structure we practiced yesterday, vocabulary, the activities we did yesterday, okay. Join your groups, go to your groups and begin with the feedback, okay. Go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Okay, Elizabeth, Johanna, Andrea, Elizabeth. I'm going to uh, send you to group number two. Okay, go to your groups, please. Go to your groups class and begin with the feedback. Okay, join your teams. Flor Morena, go to your group, please. Yeah. <laughs> Yo no vine ayer. No sé qué vamos a hacer. Hello, uh -huh. teacher. Good evening. Hello. That is why your classmates are going to tell you what we did yesterday. It is a feedback. Okay. They are in ah, charge okay. now of the feedback to tell you. Okay. Julio was here. Okay. Miguel was here. Rafael is here. And he was here yesterday. And also. Elizabeth, Johanna, were you here yesterday or no? You were absent. Yes, sí estuve, pero estuve como oyente nada más. Okay, but you may remember, okay, some details okay. about the class. In two minutes, okay, go ahead, go ahead, in two minutes. Very soon you are going to be in level number four. Now you need to report, okay, what we did yesterday. Uh, let me see where. Okay. Okay. okay, ready? Two minutes. Es lo que yo no le... ah, hola, you, teacher. Are, you are going to report what we did yesterday to the people who were absent yesterday. For example, Andrea Elizabeth was here and Matthew were here. And also Flor was here, I think. So you are going to share with Maria Isabel what we did yesterday. Van a compartirle a Maria Isabel qué es lo que trabajamos ayer, qué es lo que se recuerdan que trabajamos ayer. Estamos en el feedback. 
Okay. That's why only two minutes and later Isabel is going to say yes. They told me that. Oh no, they didn't say that. No, ellos no dijeron eso. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, <laughs> Matthew, okay, Matthew, <laughs> they are just listeners. One more minute. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Um, okay, uh, uh, no, you keep silence, Isabel. They are going to tell you, okay? Ellos le van a decir a usted lo que trabajamos ayer de lo que se recuerde. No matter if it is in English or in Spanish, okay? Okay, Matthew, you are I the... I don't remember. Oh, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ajá. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál decimos? ¿Cuál es tu duda? En en la plataforma. Ah. Ya llegó la teacher, ahorita aprovechamos, preguntémosle. Okay, tell me. Tell me Julio César, what is your doubt? And uh, your question is um, <laughs> your tarea 17 teacher la yes. tarea consultando. Mm -hmm. Problema con esa tarea. What is your problem? What is your problem? <laughs> Porque mire, los demás no han tenido problema y ya me terminaron las cuatro unidades. Eh, a mí porque me dieron copia. <laughs> me vale. <laughs> yes, oh, um, Hold it, hold it. I'm going to assign one partner sí, to the que, group. Okay. Es que teacher, okay. La, Which one? La duda era ah. porque veníamos trabajando. Eh, yo creo que ahí fue que no interpretamos bien el, el, eh, la tarea porque uh -huh. veníamos, veníamos eh, trabajando en los ejercicios anteriores eh, uh -huh. que teníamos que poner toda la oración, incluyendo no solo agregar la, la parte que que el uso que, que nos están pidiendo ahí. Entonces, okay. a mí me pasó que, que yo ponía, por ejemplo, en el primero, he is going to phone his friend en ese recuadro. Uh -huh. toda, la, toda la oración y solo era is going to phone, como está ahí ahorita. It's going to, ok. Listen, we are going to discuss this in the main session room so everybody can be clear about it, ok. Lo vamos a okay. discutir, no lo, eh, me lo comparte luego Julio César para que lo clarifiquemos, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, thank you. Ok, very well, because uh, we need to clarify that in the main session room. Is that okay? So right now I'm going to close the breakout rooms. And here we go, let's get back, let's return. Uh, okay, Julio Cesar, let's uh, wait for the others to return, okay? And when they return, I'm going to ask you to share your screen so we can have a better understanding and we clarify the situation, okay? In order to help one another because that is part of the feedback, the general feedback. Teacher, ¿qué ha pasado ahora que una sola ensalada de, de break room, de main room? <laughs> ah, because we began the feedback in a different way. Comenzamos el feedback de manera diferente, el repaso. Uh -huh. Porque ustedes ya van a estar en el, en el nivel 4, entonces ya deben de estar expresando, reportando las ideas, ¿sí? Entonces, por eso iniciamos. Pero alguien dice, ay, I don't remember. Entonces, para eso es el feedback de lo que alguien no recuerda, el otro compañero le apoya, le ayuda. ¿Es that okay? And when you enter into the main session room and nobody was there, oh my God, it's very late, you said, yes? <laughs> okay, class, let's see. Okay, you're the ones. Listen, in the feedback, uh, one, of your, one of your partners have a doubt and we were clarifying so maybe some of you are in the same situation. So we're going to feedback that situation in one of the uh, homeworks that we have in section three. Is that correct, Julio? Yes? Oh, um, um, section okay, share, four. Okay, share your screen, please. Okay. It is in this exercise. Actually, it is in homework number 17. Is that correct or 16? 
¿Es la tarea 17 o 16, Julio? Yes, tarea 17. Ok, homework 17. Here we have the instructions, ok? It is homework 17. Instructions, complete the sentences using the form of be plus going to plus the verb in brackets. La instrucción es completa la, las oraciones usando la forma de be going to plus más el verbo que está entre paréntesis, ¿sí? For example, yes. he is going to phone. That's okay. But the situation is in number four. You a picnic next Tuesday to have. Obviously that the instruction is here and you followed it correctly in number one, two, three, and five. But there is a situation in number four. Because if you follow, okay, the instruction, it gives you an incorrect answer. So in this case, we need to make a change because the expected is you. You are. You are. Hello. Hello. What is the answer class? You are going to have. That is the expected and he wrote it correctly, but it gives uh, the incorrect answer. So we need to write only you. ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? You are going. No, porque el verbo es have. Tendría que ser has, teacher. Logically, yes. Has. No, has no because it is you. No, no porque está tú. You have, have a picnic. You sería. have a picnic. You. The, the logic, the answer was correct, but it doesn't accept it. So, in order to be accepted, we need to write. What do we need to write? Para que lo acepte la plataforma, ¿cuál sería la forma que necesitamos escribir? Hello, class. You are he's going, he's going have to, to have. No, have porque to el sujeto. Oiganme, el sujeto es you. Entonces sería you. You are going to have. That is the expected. You are. Mm -hmm. Teacher, hay yes. que hay un problema. A mí me, me salió buena solo uh, quitando el ar, solo going to have. No aparece mm -hmm. lo demás. Yeah, I think that is why we are sharing. Because I think there is yeah. a, pro a problem in the platform. But in order for you to have it correct, write going to have. Only going yeah. to have. Okay, eliminate R, Julio. Julio. Eliminate, okay. Now try. En minúscula la. Sí, porque. Small letters. Ajá. Okay. I wonder why. Ya. Teacher, ¿no será que lleva apóstrofe? No, eh, no. Es you are going to have. Es que eso me ha tenido hasta con dolor de cabeza. Okay, oh, oh my God. Okay, let's try, let's try, let's try with the apostrophe. Apostrophe R E. Apostrophe. Apostrophe R E. Es you are going to have. Are you, are you going to have? No, 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 because it is not a question. Okay, now try because it is with a small letter. Try. You are. Escriba R, pero con minúscula. Okay, now. No, you are. You are going. Y no hay, yes, you are going. Pero y si lo hace con el apóstrofe, tal vez así se lo agarra. Yo porque no he llegado ahí. Uh -huh. 
podría decir. Ok. Oh, my God. Apostrophe, but apostrophe, not a coma. Ok. Try with the apostrophe. Después de you, un apostrofe. E R E. Y una. Uh -huh. Elimine R. Eliminate R. Ok. Apostrofe. Eso como. Un apóstrofe, un apóstrofe, el apóstrofe que tiene. La, bueno, una coma arriba, pero no, no, es, no coma. es coma. Después, no es, es coma. Es coma es... Así se llama, de, apóstrofe. Después pero de la como... P. Arriba de la Después del cero está. El botón después de la P. O después del cero está también. En el está. signo de interrogación, después del cero yes. está. En el, en el teclado no. español. No. Quite esa. No, eso se lo va a dar incorrecto porque ¿Ah, está sí? malo. Uh -huh. Ahí se lo están escribiendo. Mira. Porque si no, usted no, es, no marca el apóstrofe, lo toma como incorrecto. Tiene mm. que ser el apóstrofe. Ahí en el chat. Está me contratado, con el ¿verdad? Te... Ajá, yes. <risa> en el chat se lo pusieron, Julio. ¿Y, y qué anda buscando, Julio? <risa> Ay, no. Let me see, let me see. ¿Qué escribió? Es que, es que la, el teclado de la computadora es diferente, ¿no? Bueno. Solo, so, y si copias el texto que yo te puse. Solo, ajá, ajá. Más 0146 y le va a salir el apóstrofe. Apóstrofe, perdón. Copy it from the, copy it from the, from the, ok. Let's see. Pon no. you are. Mm -hmm. You are. Con mayúscula el you. You're going. No, it doesn't accept it. No, ahí ya no va you. Es que a mí así porque me lo agarró. Sabe, you are me lo agarró a mí porque le di la vuelta al mundo con eso. <risa> no, pero ya lo escribió así. Ok, write it again, but refresh the page. Refresque la página. Maybe in that way it accepts it. En la flechita enrollada que está arriba. Ah, okay. Ahí. Ok. Yo, okay. A, así you me are, lo agarró a mí okay, como you dice Hazel. Así se supone, pero así lo había escrito y no se lo aceptaba. Ok, you are. Julio, where are you? Eliminé. Sí, sí, escucha. Es que estoy viendo en el chat también. Como, como escribió Hazel, póngalo. Así lo había escrito él al inicio. Porque así me lo agarró a mí. Julio. Ajá. Con capital letter are going to. Nah. Pero, pero sabe qué es lo que le pasaba, que tenía que refrescar la página. Porque si no se lo tomaba como error, se fijó. Eso es para sí. todos, ¿verdad? Si les pasa lo mismo, refresh it. La refrescan, por favor. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. For all of you. Okay. Stop sharing. Ah, oh, he's boasting. Está presumiendo todo lo que lleva. Plataforma. <laughs> <laughs> About to finish section four. Okay. Thank you. So you see, it's very important the the, the feedback. Okay. So, <laughs> but class, that is a, a part of homework in section four. So, uh, regarding the feedback, uh, what did you say to your classmates? Did you re finally remember? ¿Recordaron al final lo que hicimos ayer? Eh, sobre el uso de... de cool. Cool y... Cool. cool. No, would, listen, would you mind telling me what we did yesterday in class? Would you mind telling me what we did yesterday in class? Okay, I'm going to share my PPT. But now you are like, oh my God, what's this? Okay, but before, listen, before we go over this situation, because it is 8.20, I'm going to take your attendance for the first time. Okay, so here we go. Andrea Lisbeth. No, she's absent. Andrea Lisbeth is absent. Okay. Okay, very good. Carlos. Carlos Present, Ernesto. Elizabeth Johanna. Present. 
present. Okay, okay. Yes, Thank you, Carlos. Yes, Carlos, you are here. <coughs> Elizabeth Johanna. Okay, okay. <laughs> Evelyn, Jamilet. The oyente dijo que venía yeah. mientras llegaba. Uh -huh. She is in her room. Flor Morena. Present. Thank you. Fredis. Again, as a listener, he said. Hatesel, always here. Yeah. I see. Julio, here. Present teacher. Uh, Catherine Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Katrin. Maria Isabel. Mary. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Letty. Present teacher. Mervyn. Present. Matthew. <coughs> Matthew Mateo. Present. Thank you. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Thank you. Natalia. Natalia is absent. Natalia Stephanie. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Eliseo. Natalia is absent. Rafa, always here. Outer here, teacher. Here, okay, teacher. here, outer space, but here. here. Okay, next one, Rudy. Present teacher. Virginia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Virginia. Wendy is absent. And Wilbur. Present teacher. Okay, class, now that all of you are here, remember uh, that we are about to finish the course, okay? So you need to be here. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you. And here we go. Okay, class, hmm. today is March 23rd, correct? And you are in module three. Very soon you're going to turn to module four. So you need to speak a little bit more, okay, to get the ideas in English. And here we go. Today is our class number 12. And number one, the activity number one was for the ones who were here before and on time. Uh, greetings. We started with the feedback. You began the feedback in the breakout rooms and uh, in the breakout rooms emerged the doubt and the question about one of the homeworks in section number four. But we clarified it, okay? So uh, one of you is going to help me within the objectives. And for today in the pre-task, we have how to use should and should not. In other words, we're going to study the modal auxiliary should in affirmative and negative. In the preparation task, you are going to make polite requests at workplace, okay? In the, work, in the working at the pages 31 and 32, you are going to create requests related to your work. So right now, please, someone, I need someone to help me reading the objective for today. Hello? Only one volunteer. Okay, me teacher. Me okay. teacher. Okay. Uh, Carlos, you are going to read the specific objective and Rafael, you are going to read the class objective. Okay, let's begin. Okay, objectives, a specific objective. The student will be able to use should and should not to react appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Oh my God. Students, all of you will be able to use should and should not to react appropriate, uh, appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. You know, behavior, conductas, apropiadas o inapropiadas en el trabajo. Thank you. Now continue, Rafa. Class objective. A student will be able to use should and should not to make a list of appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Okay. So again, the objective for today's class is to use should and should not to make a list of appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. 
we're going to discuss that later on, okay? Because in some companies, what might be appropriate to some others might be inappropriate. In some places, you can wear a, a pajama, but in some other places, no, you are not allowed, yeah? So we're going to go over that later on. And here we have a reminder for your homework and evaluations, okay? Remember, I still have three students with zero activities in the platform. Hay tres estudiantes que no han trabajado nada en la plataforma y ya vamos en ruta hacia la semana cuatro, porque hoy ya es el segundo día de nuestra tercera semana. So I cordially invite you to work and update your performance in the platform, ¿ok? Los invito cordialmente a que trabajen en la plataforma y que actualicen esas actividades, ¿de acuerdo? Para que no se les acumule y no haya problemas con el diploma al final, ¿ok? In this week, week number three, there is no exam, only the activities, the homework, ¿ok? And here the requirements, your full name, uh, in case that you are a listener by any reason, write the word listener, camera on during the, all the session. La cámara encendida durante toda la sesión es el compromiso que se tiene con Instafor. Minimize the sound, okay, as much as possible, unless you are told not to do so. Active participation and a reminder about the attendance. It is expected 100%. There are some students who have uh, 20, 120 minutes in each of the sessions. So congratulations. And again, the attendance is taken twice every day. And you have to say presente, here I am or here in order to make effective the attendance and also to activate the camera. And at the end, the one-on-one -on -one session is available for one of you every day. Yesterday was Rafael's um, day, yeah? He stayed with me. Yes after 10 minutes, so his one-on-one -on -one session was covered yesterday. And here, you know, this is the expectation, everybody with the camera on, the microphone mute, the chats, the two chats are available, the breakout rooms, actually we began working in the breakout rooms with the feedback, and the button to ask for help is available for you, and we need to show respect above all, okay? And here a reminder, okay? We are here. We are over section two, and now we are here in section number three. But I have some students, as I was telling you, class, that they need to work in section one, section two, in the midterm test, and in week three. So please, I invite you, okay, to go over that. And I'm going to start with the feedback because you began with the feedback, but it was in a different way. So class, for the people who were absent yesterday, let me tell you that we began the class yesterday asking and answering these three questions, okay? Do you usually help your coworkers with their task? Do you often ask uh, coworkers to help you with your task? And we were practicing with good, and would you mind? And the idea here was that we say, could you turn off your microphone? That was an example. Would you mind turning off your microphone? We can use both structures to request in a polite way something, but there is one situation to notice. When we use could, okay, class, when we use could, the verb, if you remember, okay, the verb, when we use could, the verb must be in the base form. But when we use would you mind, the verb must end in ing. Yes, that is the situation. For example, could you print Teacher. out the budget file right away, Rita? Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem, okay? Let's remember that when we read could or would, the letter L is voiceless. In other words, we don't pronounce the letter L. Could, would. Okay, yes, what is the question? 
and teacher, sorry, um, the both uh, words meaning same. You may use them to make polite requests at the workplace, yes, but the structure is different because when you uh, 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 put the verb in the base form, and when would you mind, the verb must be in ing example, well, could you print out? Print out is the verb. And the modal auxiliary the is base four. Yes. And would you mind okay. opening the verb is in ing? Yes. I -N -G. But, yes, that's it. And okay. we're also writing here, class, five requests that you need to ask in your workplace. Yeah. And you did it in the breakout rooms and you share with your partners. Also, we uh, studied the word request. We can use the word request as a verb and as a noun. The example of the word request as a verb, request a new phone, please. Now the word request as a noun. My boss usually has many requests. Tiene muchos pedidos o solicitudes. And I, ask you and I share also via WhatsApp these three links. Did you practice listening and uh, practicing with these quizzes? Did you do it or no, you didn't? If you didn't do it, I invite you to do it today, tomorrow or uh, on Saturday or Sunday, yeah? Because it is very important for you to practice listening and also to go over these quizzes. That okay? And here, yesterday, we uh, studied the structures, if you remember class. Again, we said that when we use could and would you mind to ask polite requests, the structure is this. Start a request with could you followed by the base form of the main verb and any complement phrase. Answers to requests with could you are not normally yes, I could or yes, I can. No, the expected answers are the actions that are requested in, in the first one. Could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies for the, of this paper right away? It means at this moment. Could you contact the tech support? No problem. So it means that I'm going to help you with your request. When we use, would you mind calling the plant manager right away? Would you mind getting an appointment with the human resources for me in a minute? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem, but we need to be very careful with the answers because if you say, for example, would you mind getting an appointment uh, with the human resources for me? If you say, yes, I would, it means that your answer is negative. Porque si usted dice, ¿te importaría eh, sacarme o hacerme una cita con recursos humanos? Y usted le dice, sí, yes, I would, sí me importaría, quiere decir que no lo voy a hacer porque me molesta hacerlo. Entonces usted dice, in a minute, of course, ya. Yeah or right away, no problem, seguro. And here, would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. That is the only thing. Start a request with you mind plus the ing form of the main verb and any complement of the phrase. And here you have a reminder. Tenemos un recordatorio. The expected answer for request with would you mind are not usually no I wouldn't not mind, no, but are the actions, pero sí deben ser las acciones que se solicitan, or short answers like the ones in the examples, or respuestas cortas como las que están acá, yes? And also class, if you remember here, you were writing in this diagram, the request, and you were asking orally the request to your classmates in the breakout rooms, okay? And they were answering. And now here we go. It is a speaking time, but class, let me see. I'm going to victimize Maria Isabel. Okay, Isabel, do you have regulations at your workplace? 
Do you have regulations at your workplace? ¿Hay reglas a cumplir en tu lugar de trabajo? Or no? Everything is okay. And, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, sería la respuesta. Sería yes, there yes, there are. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. For example, if I ask you, is there a dressing code at work? Yes. Yes. Yes, there is a dressing code. That is a regulation, yeah? Because okay. as I told you, in some places, actually in some call centers, you can wear a pajama and there is no problem, yeah? Because what is a regulation at your workplace, maybe it is not a regulation in another workplace. Yes, do you notice the difference? So that's why we need to interact and socialize our ideas. In the speaking activity that we have over here for today class, we have to answer these questions. It is your speaking time. Does your, here we need an R, does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? You know, this is a direct question. Employees' behavior es sobre la conducta el comportamiento de los empleados. And then you, if you say yes, there, 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 uh, there are regulations. Name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Tienes que nombrar o mencionar tres de estas conductas que son inaceptables en tu lugar de trabajo. For example, okay, listen class. I am a teacher. I cannot smoke. It is unacceptable that a teacher smoke in front of the students. Yes? That is unacceptable. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay, that is just an example. So I'm going to share with you this slide. So you can have it in the WhatsApp and you ask and answer. Remember that you need to interact. Everybody needs to participate. Why? because you work in different places, yes? And you need to express what happens at your workplace. And that is the purpose. So are we clear about what you are going to be asking and answering? Yes? Estamos claros con lo que vamos a preguntar y con lo que vamos a contestar? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? More or less? Yes. Is it clear or blur? Blur is common. Borroso. ¿Qué okay. Usted le van a preguntar, le van a hacer la primera pregunta. ¿Ok? Here. Mm, does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Yes. Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. Now, if it is the case that the answer is affirmative, yes, it does. Name three examples of unacceptable behavior <clears throat> in your company. Listen, in some companies, an unacceptable behavior is to have a, a romantic relationship between employees. Yes or no? Yes. Sure. Because in, okay, in some cases it affects, especially if they are, if they belong to the same area or department. Yeah, but well, in any company, the situation is different. So class, I'm going to ask you to join your groups, please, because okay. I'm going to send you the invitation. Let's verify over here. Okay, hold it. We, no. Curate, hijo, hace lo que vas a hacer. Ok, very soon. <laughs> ok. Ok, I'm going to do it very soon. Ok, hold it, because I am moving some people, because it cannot be possible that in one group all the participants are going to be listeners. Si no, no, no va a haber actuación ahí. Si todos en un equipo me van... Cinco oyentes habían en un equipo acá. Como la plataforma, yes. just organizes. Okay, class, I'm going to 
uh, share to send you the invitation. I'm sharing the invitation. Join your groups, please, and begin speaking. Speaking. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. And you name the three unacceptable be, uh, behaviors at work in your company. Carlos Ernesto, I need you in your group. I need you in group number four. And uh, I need, uh, okay, Carlos, I need you in that group. And Evelyn, your group, Evelyn is number two. Did you receive the invitation, Evelyn? Evelyn recibió la invitación para unirse al grupo. Evelyn. Evelyn Jamilet, Evelyn. Okay, la voy a enviar a otro equipo entonces, Evelyn. Go to group number four. Recuerde que tiene que unirse al equipo, please. Okay. Bye, Evelyn. See you in group number four. Is that yes, yes or no? Yes, it does. No, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah, no, it does. Okay. Yeah, because the auxiliary uh, is does your company, okay? Y el sujeto es tu compañía. Okay, so if you replace your company by a subject pronoun, it should be it. That is why we answer yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. Bye. Okay, yeah, bye. <laughs> Mm. Being lateness and discrimination is one of them. And I don't know, maybe dress code is very important. En la mía, por ejemplo, no se permiten los amorillos adentro de la empresa. Ahí todo el personal tiene que ir uniformado. There is a dressing code and no, 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 no romantic relationships. And what about the smoking? No fumar adentro de la empresa uh -huh. también. Okay. But uh, what about outdoors? En las afueras, at the parking lot, is it uh, allowed to smoke or no, it is not? Not. No, it is yeah. not allowed. Okay, so it is unacceptable to smoke at the company. Because in some places inside the building, it's not acceptable. But if you are at the parking lot, you may smoke. Yeah, because it is like a smoking area for them. But in other places, no, it is unacceptable to uh, smoke in the building or in the parking lot or in any area. So it is not acceptable to smoke. Yeah. Okay. And... It is not acceptable that they use the telephone. Ah, okay. Your personal mm -hmm. phone. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about take pictures of the office? In some companies, it is not acceptable. Yes? Yes. <clears throat> and mm -mm -mm, it, to eat at the desk, is it acceptable or unacceptable? Unacceptable. Okay, and then you continue with the others. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay. Yes, it does. Here you are, Virginia. Maria Isabel, Julio Cesar, and Flor Morena. Andrea yes. Elizabeth, I don't know if she is going to participate because she is as a listener today. She is here as a listener. But you are four, okay? So everybody participating, please. Okay. 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 
frustration or anger experience. Sincere. Uh, romantic you, romantic relationship about... romantic relationship because relation loveful between no romantic relationships okay uh, only that romantic, 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 yeah, romantic. relationship Teacher, okay <laughs> what do you think about the insulting or degrading language uh that is uh yeah but uh, there is a, there is a word inappropriate okay inappropriate words yeah inappropriate words yeah more, okay. more simple inappropriate words yeah you use okay. inappropriate words because inappropriate. When, when we say inappropriate words is in general or yeah. to be uh, oh. racist racist or misogynic yes or gossipings, gossipings, chismes. What, what's mean? Uh, gossipings. Gossipings, yeah. Uh, gossipings, yes. When you, you know, yeah. you invent, you are very creative and you invent, but not in the, in the good sense, okay? Ideas okay. or behaviors uh, focused yeah. on another partner, okay? No bullying, teacher. Bullying. bullying also, bullying also. In some companies, it is not allowed mm. to practice bullying. Discrimination. Uh, abuse. Um, how do you say género? Discrimination uh, de género. Es, es como el bullying, pero es como uh, cuando, cuando, cuando usted... Jerry, uh, Jerry. Jerry, uh -huh. género. Género. Jerry. Okay, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry discrimination. Or, or, uh, or gender, mejor gender. Sí, gender, gender discrimination. Yeah, gender discrimination. Or discrimination in general, because it is not only uh, about your, your preferences or if you are a man or a woman, it is also about your... Uh, the, the place, skin. Or... The skin, the place where you live. Yeah. Or the religious. Uh, religion, discrimination in general. Yeah. General discrimination. discrimination. Yeah. And also, um, how can I tell you? The place where you live. Okay, okay. Or, or your profession or occupation, okay. yeah, or the place where you graduated from, yeah. Mm -hmm. When we say discrimination, okay. it is a general okay. word that covers okay everything. So they say um, risk, 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 disrespect, risk with respect huh? with the people, uh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Incap incapacit no, discapacitados. Handicapped. ¿Cómo se dice discapacitado? Handicap, handicapped. Handicapped, handicapped son los discapacitados, Handicap. pero no los, los incapacitados por el médico, porque los incapacitados por el médico son disability. Los otros eh, son, por ejemplo, a person who is in a wheelchair, una persona en silla de ruedas, handicapped. Is handicapped. Okay. Handicapped. Mm -hmm. Because how, how do you spell uh, handicapped? Other, other mean... Uh, the handicap. Handicap is go cuando yo tengo algo bajo mi mano, algo así como ah, no. tengo mi handicap. No. No, no. Handicap son los las personas especiales. Las personas okay. diferentes. No, tiene otro a, significado este. no, son las personas diferentes a las Ajá. personas regulares como usted y yo. A las okay. personas estándar. Por eso okay. es handicap. Maybe And, they are in a, in a, in a In a wheelchair or they are blind, handicap. H A N D. How do you write that? H A N D Y C A P. Handicap. No, is I. Is I no Y. H A N D I C A P. H N I D. Handicap. We okay, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Entonces, uh, for example, a blind person is handicapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Si so hay una hay persona de... sorda muda, ¿cómo se dice? Also, also, that person is handicapped. Porque no tiene esas ah, habilidades. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Es decir, esa palabra es genérica para todas estas personas que son diferentes a las personas promedios. To, they are different from ordinary people, like you and me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Let me see. Very good. Okay, continue, continue, continue. Sorry, I need to go to the other things. Okay. Okay, two <laughs> okay. more minutes, two more minutes. Hey, Cher. No, duda. Again. Um, <laughs> is, and, De nuevo. And your question two, uh, and your, uh, la respuesta que había puesto antes de las tres, de los tres ejemplos puse, I, my company, it is not acceptable. ¿Sería bien esa, pre esa respuesta? Say it again, please. Eh, in, pondría in my company it is not acceptable number in, one mainstream customer number two okay hold it it is not acceptable to yes ¿qué es lo que no es aceptable? Eh, insultar a los clientes meeting consumer ¿Y cuál es, para usted, cuál es la palabra ofender a una persona? Mi street. Mi street. Ajá. Sorry, mi street. <laughs> yeah, because mainstream, it was mi street customers. Yes. Okay, um, that's okay. Uh -huh. in, insult, insulting, ¿cómo se dice? In, in, insulting. Sí, pero lo que eso ese es el significado de la, esa palabra en inglés es diferente. No se utiliza eso. Uh -huh. oh. Yo quería decir groserías. Yo no, 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 no sé cómo escribirlo, pero en Google me aparece swear. Uh -huh. en, en, en rude, rude, me... rude words. Rude, rude words. Rude. <risa> Palabras groseras, rude, rude ajá, words, ajá. R U D E, ok, rude words, or rude language. Podría ser entonces, teacher, por ejemplo, en la 2, donde le había puesto mal, eh, to insult my superior. No, no tiene que decir insult, porque el significado es diferente, no es el mismo significado. Oh. Uh -huh. no, no diga esa palabra. Because that is a felony in English. Eso okay. es un delito en inglés. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, don't say that. <laughs> I was telling you, but you insist. Okay. <laughs> you say disrespect. Now, falta el respeto. Yes. Okay. But you, it is unacceptable to disrespect your boss and your partners, not only your boss. Yes? No se acepta el, la falta de respeto hacia el jefe y hacia los compañeros, o solo al jefe y a los compañeros, sí. No, compañeros ah, también. So you say, because you said to the boss, no, it is for everybody. But you only have to name three. Solo tiene que nombrar tres.
And what about Maria Isabel? Did you name your three? Yes. Only three. In Virginia? Um, uno yes. también, teacher. Solo uno tiene. Mm -hmm. De conductas inaceptables. ¿Cuál es esa conducta inaceptable en el trabajo? Mm. En mis flor, yours, sí, ya las tengo. Okay, would you read them? Um, my company has three regulations. Three, three regulations. Okay. Ajá, y puedo decir, in my company has three regulations. Mm, probably if you say, in my company there is a dressing code. In my company there is a dressing code. Porque hay un código de vestir, ¿sí? Ajá. Uh -huh. There is a dressing code. Ajá, uh -huh, ya. Yeah. In my company. There is a dressing code. No le, no le entiendo después de que dice el company. There is. There, there is. is. Uh -huh. There is. There is dress in no, code. No, there is a dressing, dressing code. Dressing. Y con ING. Yes, because it is a noun. Okay. Here, dressing code. Like this, yeah? Dressing code. Okay. So it is unacceptable to break the dressing code. Another one? Te lo voy a decir en español como eh, transparencias o, o pantalones de lomo. Ah, sí, pero, pero eso nos lleva al mismo, al, al dressing code, porque como hay un código de vestir, entonces eso es globalizar, ¿verdad? De ir con ropa transparente o con jeans. Pero otra regulación, que otra ah, conducta que no sea aceptable, que no tenga que ver con el vestir. Ah, no lo había entendido. Um, había puesto in my, in my company, cat cannot eat in front of customer. Ok, excellent. Is in my company, it is unacceptable to eat in front of the customers. Very good. Como me dijo en my company. It is. It is. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Uh -huh. To eat. To eat. In yes. front of customer. In front of the customers. Yes. In front of the customer. Uh -huh. Dicha, este, si yo digo con tu di, con tu di company drum. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is, it is unacceptable to be drunk, estar ebrio, uh -huh. yeah, to be drunk, eh, ok. Eh, ajá, no se puede llegar en no. esta bebida. Ajá. So we say 
to be drunk. It is unacceptable to be drunk. To be drunk. It is unacceptable to be drunk, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, Maria Isabel, we don't listen clearly. No, class, I don't know if you listen to Maria Isabel, but in, 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 chicos, ustedes escuchan bien a Maria Isabel. <laughs> Habla Maria Isabel. <laughs> Hable un poquito más fuerte, tal vez así se le, se le escucha mejor. No, pues no, ahorita no se escucha. Sí, no se escucha, no sé por qué. Ahora sí se le escuchó cuando dijo no se escucha, no sé por qué. <risa> sí, es que está fallando un poco. Ok. Eh, in my company is it inacceptable making oh, no, verbal... ina Inacceptable, no. Unacceptable, unacceptable. Unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable uh, making verbal haters. Eh? Eh, making amenazas. Ma threatens. Uh -huh. Making verbal threatens. Ok, esa era la palabra que no encontré. Es que se le oyó como haters. Y yo, es what? que sí, yo lo No, no threatens, threatens, porque oh. son amenazas. Ok. Threatens. Ok, ok. Another one or that's ok. That's ok. En julio, after I said the felony, that's a felony. Yeah, yes. English, sí, miren, hay que tener cuidado con el vocabulario, porque para nosotros puede ser eso, pero ellos, recuerden, ¿verdad? Eh, tienen, tienen un vocabulario diferente. Entonces, cuando decimos eh, insulting, es como, it is related to sexual harassment. Está relacionado como, ajá, por eso es, it is a felony. Es un delito. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need to be careful with, with, with the use, how we say it, okay? Okay, now let's get back to the main session room so we share with the classmates. Let's wait for the other partners to return. There is one, two groups are still working. Okay, we're going to share. Okay, class, here we go. Thank you for sharing in the breakout rooms. And now, okay, uh, you are going to name only one of the, of the behaviors that are, okay? Name three examples of unacceptable. No, it is not unacceptable. No, that is in Spanish. Unacceptable, unacceptable behavior in your company, okay? For example, in my company, is uh, it is unacceptable not uh, 
it is it is not acceptable to wear any clothes because it is mandatory to wear the uniform in one case, yes? Because you have to wear a uniform. That is an example, okay? So here we are open to listen to yours. Rafael, share one. In my comp, in my company, it it in a, unacceptable and bullying. To bully. Okay, to bully uh, somebody or to make okay. bullying. Make in bullying. general, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Maria Leticia. I lost the connectivity. I don't listen to Leti. Oh my God, wait for me, people. Wait for me. I'm going to write in the chat. Okay. Ah, Leti is here. Ah. She's alive. <laughs> okay. No me fluye aún el inglés. Only one, only one, only one, only one. Um, llegar tarde. It is unacceptable to arrive late. To arrive late. Okay, mm -hmm. or to get late to work, to get late to work, because to arrive is ah, esta to arrive la is negra. Ah, sí. Okay, <laughs> listen, we talking about bullying. <laughs> listen, class, uh, I know. when we say uh, arrive is extremely formal, we usually say to get late to work, okay, but it, both are correct, to arrive late at work or to get late. But the difference is that arrive mm -hmm. is very, very formal. Thank you, uh, Ms. Leti. Flor, Flor Morena, only one. <clears throat> in, in my company, there is a dressing code. Okay, so it is an acceptable that you wear other other uh, kind of clothes, yeah? Because there is a dressing code. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, a certain of workplace behavior is harassment and discrimination level. Okay, harassment. I think that it is about harassment. sexual harassment, right? And discrimination, very well. Uh, yes, in, yes. In any sense, yes. in general, okay. right? Very well, excellent. Julio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bueno. In my company, it is not uh, acceptable ministering customer. Mistreat, mistreat customers. Customer. Customers, very well. Thank you, Miss Hatesell. It's not as it's not acceptable to eat at the desk. Okay, very well. Elizabeth Johanna is a listener. Freddy is ay, too many people as a listener. Virginia, one. Um, in acceptable. Uh, no, no, unacceptable <clears throat> behavior. Um, to the drone. Hmm? To the drone. Usar drones. Mm. Ah, to be drunk. Mm. You know, to uh -huh. drunk with some beer <laughs> that you have some alcohol. Yes, because listen, in some companies, <laughs> because. What if you have a drum and you, you know, yeah, it is unacceptable <laughs> to be drunk, especially, especially, especially after lunch, yes, on Friday, okay. or maybe, or maybe, hey, class, or maybe Monday morning, you are still, oh my God, in the plane. <laughs> Thank you, Miguel Angel, one. Miguel Angel, are you here? Knock, knock. Miguel Angel. Yes, he, he, okay. he was thinking about Sorry. being drunk at work. <laughs> uh, my company is in my company is unacceptable uh, to get at my team's mate. To what? To get 
at my team. Ah, excellent. Yeah. Gritarle a los compañeros, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok, sí, excellent, sir. excellent. No smoking, uh, for example. Yeah, it is unacceptable to smoke. Yeah. Thank you, yes. Rudy. Rudy. Rudy, knock, knock. Rudy, Rudy. Rudy Alexander, and your last name, Rudy Alexander. <laughs> Rudy Alexander, uh, your last name. Dígame Asensio. su apellido. Asensio, ok. Ajá, Rudy, tell me. One unacceptable in behavior. Company, in my company, is unacceptable now to eat. No comen en todo el día. Adentro de la de la de la. In the office. In the, in the office. Ah, in the office. Uh. Okay, okay, because to eat, oh my God, all of them are on a diet. Great. I can say eat on the floor. Exactly. En el piso, exactly. en el piso. Uh -huh. On the desk. On the floor. On the desk. On the floor because no. the. No, no, on the floor, no. No, no because if you say in the office or at, at the workplace. Because listen, if you say on the floor in English, it means it's in el piso, pero el piso, literal. la base, literally. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. And they are going to ah, say, okay. oh, they don't have a place where to eat. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. okay. At, at the workplace, yeah. At Thank you. Place. Matthew, Mateo. Mateo. Knock, knock, Mateo, are you here? He is absent, okay? Mateo is absent. Now, class, that is the first part. So you see, in the different companies, there are different regulations, but the most common ones are the ones that you have mentioned. For example, you have to respect the dressing code, your language, yeah? You need to uh, watch out what you say. Yeah, your ideas, how to express your relationships, the way you treat others, respect above all, yeah? And the tone of voice, because it is not acceptable to yell or shout to others, especially if you are a telemarketer or if you work in a call center, you're not going to be shouting to the customers, yeah? Or to be eating, it is not acceptable to eat in front of the customers or when you are on duty. Cuando estás eh, en tus actividades, ¿verdad? Yeah, it is not acceptable. Ah, poor manners, very well. Excellent. To show poor manners, poor manners it is not acceptable. Eh, son los eh, malos, to mostrar malos modales, ¿ya? Yeah? What we understand as uh, malos modales. And in some, ah, also in some groups, uh, you were sharing class, that uh, romantic relationships are unacceptable. Yes? Okay. That is in almost all the um, private enterprises, yeah? Private companies. It is unacceptable because in the end, it affects. Okay. So now let's continue. Okay. Great class. Excellent. So let me tell you, that you were discussing these questions, okay? Now listen to your instructor, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. We have two people in here, Claudia and Raul. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his iPhone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. Mm, he should answer his messages after the meetings and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree, we should help him instead. This conversation is a, a small talk because it is, they are in a meeting probably, but they are making comments about a partner. But in the end, they make a reflection, yes? because they say, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his iPhone. Did you see him? Lo viste. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. 
he should answer his messages after the meetings and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. You have two pronunciations for this word. You may say either or either. Both pronunciations are correct, okay? Either, either. Both are correct. Agree, we should help him instead. De acuerdo, deberíamos ayudarle en lugar de estar hablando de él, ¿ya? Yeah? So, should not chat. No debería. Should answer. Debería contestar. Should not talk. No debería. Ok, hablar. Should help. We should help him. Nosotros deberíamos ayudarle. ¿A quién? A él. Instead, en lugar de esto, deberíamos en de ayudarle. De... En lugar de, en vez de, ok, deberíamos de ayudarle. Mm -hmm. En vez de criticar, in other words, ok. So, Go I need gossiping, ever. Eh, gossiping. 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 Okay, 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 so I need two participants, one boy and one girl. <coughs> okay, teacher, they, they, okay, let's see. Carlos, you're going to read Raul and Maria Leticia, you read Claudia. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting absolutely that is not polite he should answer his mention after the meeting and we should not talk about him that is that's not polite either i agree we should help him instead 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 Thank you. Absolutely. Instead. <laughs> okay, let me see. So here, I can't believe it with the enthusiasm, okay? I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Lo viste. You're right. Tiene razón. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. The stress goes at the beginning, the first syllable. La fuerza de voz va al inicio de la, de la palabra. Absolutely. 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 No, absolutely no. Absolutely. absolutely. Polite. 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 Okay. Agree. 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 De acuerdo. Instead. Yeah. Instead. Now I need two more volunteers to read. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, Rafael, you read Raul, and I need one girl to read Claudia. Me. Okay, Miss, you begin. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help we should help help him instead. Okay, thank you so much. Absolutely polite messages. 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 Either either. Either. either Either, both are correct. Two pronunciation. Either, 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 either. either. Yeah. Okay. Agree, <coughs> agree, agree. Instead, instead. Okay, class, so you are going to continue with the second part of the instruction. The first one was, listen to your instructor, read the conversation. Practice with a partner. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you practice as your classmates did. But the second part is that you are going to switch roles, okay? Forget about the names because they are not mentioned in the, in the conversation because they mentioned Robert, who is a, another person. They are making comments about someone else. And later you are going to discuss these questions, okay? What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? 
what are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do. Um, rude behaviors son um, las conductas malas, groseras, ordinarias, yeah? And here we have in number four, before we go to the breakout rooms class, we have behavior. Behavior is the way that someone acts in different situations. The company expects polite behavior from all the employees, interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. Gossiping, this is what they are doing. They are practicing gossiping. Okay, chismear about coworkers is rude behavior. Okay, es una grosería, se toma como una grosería. Um, Crear chisme sobre otra persona, sobre compañeros, ¿ya? Yeah? Then you have the definition for behavior and you go to the breakout rooms, you practice this conversation, you switch roles and you discuss these two questions because it is about your workplace. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? ¿Cuáles son algunas actitudes o comportamientos Corteses amables que tú esperas de tus compañeros. And in number two is the opposite. What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? ¿Cuáles son algunas de las conductas groseras, ordinarias, no buenas, verdad? Que se espera que tus compañeros no practiquen en el lugar de trabajo. Okay, but it is only speaking. This one is only speaking, okay? So it is again a speaking time class. Are we clear? Remember, we are at page 31. Is that okay? Okay. 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 So here we go. Remember, class practice makes perfect. Okay. So everybody participating, please, as much as possible. Right now, I'm sharing the invitation so you join to your groups. Go to your groups. Carlos, your partners where? Carlos. Hola, hola, hola. Here your teacher. partners, sus compañeros eran? Rafael, right? Or no? Yes, yes. Rafael, uh, Evelyn. Okay. Uh, the other one, I don't remember. Miguel, Miguel, I think. Okay, okay. Evelyn, Miguel, Catherine, mm -hmm. and Rafa. Okay, so yes. you were in group number four. I'm going okay. to share with you the invitation right now, okay? Go to group okay. number four, please. Thank you. Okay. Evelyn, I need you in group number four. Please join, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn, 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 Evelyn. Go to group number four, please. Okay, okay. ¿Cuántos okay, somos? Vale. ¿Cuántos somos para que nos repartamos? Flor, ¿cuántos más sabemos? Virginia. Flor, Julio, Virginia, but Andrea is a listener. So okay. there are four, there are four of you. María Isabel, Virginia, Julio César, and Flor. Okay. Entonces. Como Julio es el, el único que está aquí, vamos. Yo soy el único varón. No, but it, no, but it doesn't matter, no problem. Because remember, remember you have to switch roles. Lo vamos a ir rápido. Ah, he's, he's going to practice three or four times, okay? It is good for him to have a, a, a speaking practice. Ahí me van compartiendo. Oh, bye, bye, bye. See you. Sí, Claudia. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should he should not chat in the meeting. In a meeting. Absolutely. This not this is not polite. He should answer his mis message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should we should help him. 
instead. Okay. okay. Answer. Let me answer. 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 Yeah, you don't uh -huh. pronounce the W. It should answer. That's correct. Very okay. well. Answer. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Bye. 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 ¿Quién más? ¿Quién yeah. más practicaría? O oh, todos son oyentes. Mm. No. <laughs> Ay, no. Marvin, Rudy, Freddy. Mateo, 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 practice with your classmates. Mateo, where are you? Mateo Rosales. Mateo, Mateo. Teacher, I am Claudia and I'm not. Mm -hmm. I am, sería yo, Claudia, no sé quién, quién es. Este. Okay, Rudy, Rudy. Rudy wants to practice with Hazel or Letty. And also okay. we have here Marvin. Marvin wants to participate. Okay, okay. so Mar Marvin, you participate with Hazel. And Rudy, you practice Page. with Maria Leticia, okay? Page 31. Okay, I can't believe it. it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You write his yeah. soul. Not chat chat in a meeting. It's more easy either no either. Okay. Okay. The next people. The next. Okay. The next I... coworker. Uh, and then the next place. Okay. Dijo que teníamos que intercambiar. Yes. yes, you have to switch roles. Switch role. Okay. Me, Claudia. I can't believe it. Let I can't believe it, Elizabeth. He's addict. He's addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his me message. 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 After the meeting, um, we should not talk about him. That's not polite. Peter. 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 Either. Agree. We should help me. We should help him. Instead. 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 Elizabeth, I'm sorry for the interruption, Elizabeth Johanna. Answer. You don't pronounce the W, okay? Answer. 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 Yeah. He should answer. Yeah. Continue. Miguel, are answer. you there, Miguel? Yes, Carlos. Okay. Um, could you begin in the, the conversation, please? Okay. I can't believe it. Robert, he is addicted to his phone. Did you say in this? Did you see him? You are right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That's just not a polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. Um, we should not tell about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Um, again, uh, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not possible. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Okay. Catherine, are you there? 
Hello, hello. Only listening. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, um, let's jump right in in the in the discussion. And then the, the the part three. And what are some polite behavior you expect from your coworker? Um, for me, um, for example, uh, could be great people when you uh, arrive, maybe, and when you leave, um, and a simple good morning, hello, goodbye, or good night. To be respectful. Example, to be respectful. Yes. Uh -huh. To be friendly. Be, be cordial. Be yeah. cordial. Yeah. Um, Talk about things that's not polite. Polite. Hey, for polite hers. Hers. Angry. We we hold help him in his step. Otra vez. <laughs> um, I can't believe it. It Robert is addicted to his fun. Did you see him? Hola. Hola. ¿A quién le toca? Uh -huh. <risa> Va a ir a ver. ¿A quién le toca? Eh, yo pensé que le tocaba a, 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 a la compañera porque a, a mí me toca. Sí. Ok, ok, ¿No? Flor. Va, permítame, lo voy a poner. Ya leyó usted, ¿verdad? Sí. Bye. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Angry, we should help him in, in his help. Okay, listen, answer. You don't pronounce the W, answer. Agree, um, Julio, Julio, repeat after me, agree. Agree. Because you were saying angry, enojado, angry. yeah? Uh, no, agree, de acuerdo, estoy agree. de acuerdo. Agree. Agree. Yes. Instead, instead. 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 Yes, that's it. Okay, did you finish the practice of uh, reading the conversation? Yes? Yes. Now, class, go over the discussion of questions. Number one and number two. In relation mm -hmm. to the reality in your workplaces, okay? Okay. Three more minutes. Okay, teacher. Okay. Ahora sí me escuchan, compañero. Yes, perfectly. Ay, qué bueno. Now that I am leaving, ahora que me voy, ya la escucho. Perfectly. Ok, bye. <laughs> Veamos ahora las que no... Las eh, root behaviors. Serían las que consideramos como un comportamiento grosero. Una falta Ajá, de respeto, correcto. Que no se de espera. Bromas Ajá. pesadas. Ajá. Eh, por teacher. Um, Behavior could be for, for manner, for example. 
Perman, um, malo, eh, yes. eh, los modales, mal, malos modales. Ajá, uh -huh. uh, jokes. Ok, inappropriate jokes. Inappropriate jokes, ok. Yeah. Ok. Um, ¿Qué podría ser? Disrespectful. Como irrespetuoso. Disrespect. 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 Ya. Ah, ok. Disrespect. Uh, bullying. Bullying. Those are the ones that are not expected, correct? Son las que no son esperadas. Ajá, ok. Ok. Sí. Bullying. Bullying. Um... Is there this this rogue the, the workplace? Excuse me, say it again. Uh, this rogue the workplace. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, interrumpir, interrumpir, or, 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 or disrupt the meetings? Mm, disrupt mm. the meetings, yeah, or misbehave in the meetings. Comportarse mal en las reuniones. Misbehave. Misbehave. Uh, how do you. Ok, I'm going to write it in the chat because. It's soberbio, teacher. Soberbios. No, no es. Ok, misbehave. Misbehavior. Misbehave. Okay. ok, you have it in the chat. Okay. Ah, misbehave. Misbehave. Uh -huh. uh, misbehave in the meeting. Misbehave in the meeting. Okay. Mal tener malas okay. actitudes en, el, en, en las reuniones. Misbehave. Okay. It is the opposite uh, of behave. Oh. Es el opuesto de behave, de portarse bien, de tener buena conducta. ¿Ya? Behave, misbehave. Okay. okay. Um, pay attention and uh, no uh, for example when in a meeting uh, uh, the people don't have uh, for attention because uh, uh, the co-worker using the cell phone for example and is a unrespect uh, attention and the uh, and the things Uh, did you get it, Rafael? Did you get the idea? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, say uh, it again. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, uh, when the, the, the co worker uh, uh, ¿cómo sería? Uh, The, the, the co worker no pay attention in the uh -huh. meeting uh -huh. because okay. uh, they have a uh, use the cell phone. Okay, um, is, is how, um, como se le dice? Uh, a poor uh, manner teacher can mm -hmm. say, uh, mm, superb. ¿Cómo? Superb, eh, soberbio, que es testarudo, soberbio, que hace lo que él quiere, no sé. O es que se crea superior, mm. o no sé, porque no. Prude, prude, ajá, prude también. Prude. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is. Okay, I sent you. I I sent it to you via ah. via chat. Mm -hmm. When no focuses in the meeting. Uh huh. Oh, okay. rude, rude behavior when they are not focused on the meeting. Ah, okay. Es okay. una grosería. Eso es una grosería. Okay. Okay. Rude behavior. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, class, let's get back to the main session room so you can share with your class, yeah? Because okay. I think they are going to be almost the same. Hello, Julio. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. <clears throat> okay, class, I'm going to call your names in order to take your second attendance, okay? But let's uh, wait for the others to return exactly in nine seconds. Okay, here we go. Andrea Lisbeth. Andrea Lisbeth. Are you here, Andrea Lisbeth? Carlos Ernesto. Here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Elizabeth Johanna. Present. Thank you, Miss. Evelyn. Evelyn, are you here? Flor, Flor Morena. Present. Thank you. Freddy Celiceo. Hazel. I'm here. Julio Cesar. I'm here. Thank you. Catherine. Present. Thank you. Maria Isabel. Absent. Present. Ah, here. Letty, Miss Let. Present. Marvin. Present. Okay. Um, Mateo. Mateo, where are you? <gasps> yeah. And Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Thank you. Natalia, absent. Natalia, absent. Rafa? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rudy? Present teacher. Virginia del Carmen? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Wendy is absent and Wilbur is absent. Yeah? Okay, let's continue. Listen class, you were sharing in the breakout rooms the uh, behaviors that you expect from your partners, yes? And the ones that you and the company don't expect from your coworkers. <clears throat> and in general, as I could perceive, you were naming uh, that you don't expect from your partners bad manners, yeah? Disrespect and others, but the ones that you expect from them are good manners, respect. The other ones, which are the others that you expect from your coworkers? The other good behavior that you expect from your coworkers? Be cordial. Be cordial, excellent, very well. Another one? Be friendly. Be friendly, yeah. Be responsible, yes. Be responsible. Maybe be cooperative. Be, be respectful. Respectful, empathic, yeah. Empathic. Yes. Okay, very well. Congrats. Almost the same because we expect that kind of uh, behaviors from our 
co-workers, yeah, in order to have a better environment at work. Now let's continue. Because remember that here, behavior, the definition of the word behavior, the way that someone acts in different situations, yeah? So that is good behavior and bad behavior, good manners and bad manners. Now here is the focus, how to use should and should not. Look at the word symbols, las que están más remarcadas, okay? And let's complete the sentences below. The guard should answer my good morning greeting. Quiere decir que el vigilante no le conteste el saludo. So the guard is rude, yeah? Because we expect that when you arrive to a place, you greet and the other person is going to answer your greeting, yeah? Linda should greet with a firm, with a firm handshake, handshake. The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. You should say please when you ask for a favor. Now, we use should plus the infinitive form or the base form of the verb. Mm. Infinite form. Because... Or, the base, or the base form. Because if we say Linda should greet, the supervisor should use. You should use. Okay. Yes. In the, base the base form. Sorry. The base form. The base form. Okay. The base form. Great. Excellent. Of the verb and any complement phrase to express a direct suggestion. Now let's analyze the negative. Darío should not use many emojis. Uh, microphones, please. Okay, here, class. Darío should not use many emojis in his emails. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. But look at this, sexist jokes. Your boss should not shout at you. No debería gritar. Now, in the negative sentences, we use should plus not and the infinitive form of the verb or the base form? Base form. Very base well. Form. The base form of the verb. Plus any complement phrase to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. In other words, we use should or should not in order to give a suggestion, okay? About any situation. Now here, provide a suggestion about the next situations at work. Let's imagine, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. So the suggestion is, Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say please when he asks for something, yeah? When Carly, Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. ¿Qué le aconsejarían ustedes? ¿Cuál es la sugerencia para Carol? My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. ¿Qué le sugerirían ustedes a la asistente? Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She, la she, louds, she laughs. Aquí hay error. Very loudly. Ella se ríe. Tendría que ser the word, okay? Over here. She Loud. laughs very loudly. Se ríe muy fuerte, yeah? What is the suggestion, okay, that you would give to Lucy? Acaban de escribir una sugerencia que ustedes le harían a Carol, a la asistente o al asistente y a Lucy, considerando estas situaciones. ¿De acuerdo? Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay, so we hey. are working at page 32. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You have five minutes to complete this activity, okay? okay. But before we go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to take a picture para que vean quiénes son los que se quedan hasta el final de la clase. Okay, to the count of three. 
you activate your cameras and you smile, okay? A very nice smile. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, because Maria Isabel, I don't know where she is. And Miguel Angel, we don't know where he is. Okay, one, okay, smile, Isabel. One, two, three. Right now, over here. Okay. Over there. Thank you. And now, let's suggest uh, something to your to the people in the, you know, in the different situations in order to improve their behavior. Para que mejoren su conducta, okay? So here we go. Go to your groups, please. Okay, join your groups. I sent you the invitation. You discuss and you write one suggestion. Discuten en equipo y hacen una sugerencia. Okay, Miguel Ángel, Rudy, go to your groups. Freddy Eliseo, Maria Leticia, Miguel Ángel, go to your groups. Please join your groups. Okay, great. Cosa para que me... Y no me ayuda. Okay, here you are, Julio Cesar, Virginia, and Maria Isabel. Yes. yes que acá yes. les está pasando algo a estas tres personas. Entonces, ustedes le van a decir algo que debería o no debería de hacer, considerando este ejemplo, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Si sí. se fijan, aparece afirmativo y negativo. Ustedes deciden si hacen la sugerencia afirmativa o negativa. ¿Ok? Ok. Okay, great. Okay, okay. Virginia, are you here, Virginia? Hello, um, Virginia. Yes, teacher. Aquí estoy, aquí okay. Estoy. Oh, okay, Virginia, I need to tell you something. Necesito que me regale 10 minutos después de la clase. Por favor. Claro sí. Okay. You are the witness, people. María Isabel and Julio César, and is recorded. Y queda grabado también que ya se quedará después de la clase. Okay, bye. <laughs> Porque Julio, oh my God. Ok, bye, see you. Julio, Julio le huía, teacher. He runs away. Ok, bye. Ajá, sí sería. Carl should not. He should. should. When he is. When he's angry, and think that angry, so not angry, so angry, so, so not a car, so not angry. Así, uh -huh. What well, do you think about this hair? No, no. Uh, no, no, porque no. Hay, no, permitan, permítame. Ah, okay, 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 okay. ok, ok, pero necesito leer uh, la, la situación. Okay. Él, él grita, ajá. Él grita cuando no le salen las cosas. Ajá. Ok, Carl should not shout. Porque el verbo es... Should not. Should not shout. Sin la S. Ah, ajá. shout is the ah. verb. Shout. Ajá. Shout. Should not shout. 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 No, sin la S porque lleva el verbo auxiliar should. Ah, yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. Shout uh -huh. when uh -huh. he is angry. When he is angry. Cuando él esté enojado. Should ah, ok. Shout when he is angry. When. When he is angry. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. When Perdón, ¿cómo, ¿cómo era, teacher, que no lleva la S el show? ¿Por qué? Porque, porque va en base form. Ah. No, ajá, porque mire, cuando utilizamos los modal auxiliares, can, could, uh, is, el verbo to be, ¿verdad? En todas sus formas, uh, would, should, el verbo va en su base en presente simple. Aunque sea tercera ah, persona ah. de singular, porque el verbo auxiliar es el que está modificando el verbo. 
Okay. Carol oh, should okay, okay. shout when he is angry. Now my assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. ¿Qué debería de ser la asistente? Um, she should. My assistant should. Uh -huh, should. Should. Should salutation. No, y el verbo cuál no. es? Ah, use. My, uh, my should use very well. Should use. My Excellent. assistant. Should my use. Assistant. Should. Use, use a salutation. A salutation. Ah, ah, ah. okay. Should use salutation. Okay. Your suggestion. Your suggestions are for Carol. Estamos en In which one? Number three. En la sí. tercera. No, en la segunda. No, 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 no. Tampoco no somos la teacher, no, no, no. <laughs> no, but Julio writes very fast. Ok. <laughs> Creo que sería, mire, Isabel. Ajá. Is, um... Mire, yo le pongo. Carl Schultz. Carlos debería respirar profundo. Ok. Should breathe. Should breathe. Carl should breathe, breathe. when breathe. he is angry. Uh -huh. Cuando está enojado. Or to count to one million. From one to, to one million. Contate uno a un millón. Ya. Yeah. That is a good <laughs> that is a good <laughs> Okay. <laughs> In order to relax. Okay, okay. Vaya, entonces ya como, como ya nos hizo un ejemplo, ya, ya, <laughs> ya le vamos a... Lucy shall not, should not. Should love, not. love, love. So loudly. So loudly. When she tell jokes. Para que no le dejemos que no diga chistes, pobrecita. <laughs> okay, girls, let's return. Okay. Retornemos. <laughs> you are very empathic, Hazel. Okay, <laughs> let's sí, turn. Yeah. <laughs> let's help her. Let's wait for the others so we okay. We finish the class. In twenty seconds, everybody's going to be here. There are two groups are still working. So let's wait for them. Well, okay, class, here we go. Let's get started. For number one, when Carol is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. One suggestion from one of the groups is, Carol should breathe, okay, when he is angry. Another suggestion for Carol? Otra sugerencia eh, para Carol? Mm -hmm. Yes, Rafa? No, it's... it's, it's... Okay. Uh, ah, Carol should not shout. Okay. Shout okay. When he is angry. Excellent. Very well. Now, the second one. 
My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. One suggestion. Hello, okay. class. Okay. My assistant should use a salutation in her emails. Excellent. Very well. Class, do you have another suggestion for the assistant? I have the same. Okay, great. And what about the last one? Lucy likes to uh, tell jokes in the office. She laughs <laughs> very loudly. Okay, the suggestion for Lucy? Lucy should not laugh very loudly okay. when she is in the office. Excellent, very well. Another suggestion for Lucy? No, no other suggestion. Lucy should not laugh so loudly when she tells jokes. When she tells jokes, okay. Uh, you say to tell a joke, decir una broma o hacer una broma. En español decimos hacer una broma, pero en inglés, tell a joke, decir una broma, okay? Notice that difference. Class, thank you so very much for your participation and your attendance. Remember, you, I need you to continue working in the platform. In the case that you are over, congratulations, have a good night, sleep well, and see you tomorrow. Only Virginia stays with see the teacher. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. See you good tomorrow. Night. Yeah, we're Virginia. tomorrow. Virginia se queda conmigo. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, Rafa. Bye, Julio Cesar. Bye bye, Rafael. <laughs> Rafa, bye bye. Bye. Bye, Rafael. Okay, Virginia, here we go. Okay. Okay, let me see, Virginia. Eh, sí, ayer estuvo en la clase. Entonces, Virginia, comparemos. Ayer estuvimos viendo las polite requests, ¿verdad? Con sí. would you and would you mind. Recordemos que acá eh, podemos utilizar indiferentemente could and would you mind, ¿sí? Nada sí. más que cuando utilizamos could, el verbo debe ir en su forma base. Pero cuando usamos would you mind, el verbo debe ir en ing. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? Uh -huh. sí. Esa es la clave. Y las respuestas no es yes, I could, sino sure, seguro, right away, en este momento, in a second, in a minute, ok. Uh, no problem. Se puede usar not, no problem or not a problem en las dos eh, frases, cuando mm, utilizamos nice. las dos frases. Y también right away, in a minute, in a second, ¿de acuerdo? No vamos a decir yes, I would, or yes, I could, no. Y cuando pronunciamos could y would, la L is voices, la L no se pronuncia, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Ok, very well. Now, let's read this conversation, ok? You are Claudia and I am Raúl. You begin. Usted mm. inicia. Vaya. I I can believe uh, if Robert is a DB to his phone, did you see him? To, did you see him? Okay. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That is not polite either. Agreeing with Charlie Hers Hings instant. Okay, repeat after me, Virginia. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted 
to his phone. Robert is addicted to his phone. Addicted. Addic addicted. Okay, Robert is addicted. Robert is addicted to his phone. To his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? Did, Did you see him? Very well. You're right. <laughs> You're right. He should not chat. He should not chat. Chat. He should not chat. In a meeting. In a meeting. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is not polite. Da. Ah, yo decía, that is not polite. Yes, that is, that, that, that that is, is not. La última T suena como una R, porque se unen las palabras. That is uh, not polite. That is not polite. That is not polite. That is not polite. He should answer. He should answer. He should answer. He should Answer. La L no se pronuncia. He uh, should answer. He should. He should answer. Should. Ensure. Answer. Answer. His messages. His messages. No, uh, messages. Messages. His messages. No, listen, escuchen. Messages. Uh, Mrs. No, Mrs. No. Messages. Uh, is Mrs. Chair. After the meetings. After the meeting. And we should not talk. And um, we should not talk. Talk. And should not talk. No, la L no se pronuncia. Imagínese. Tic, hey, TikTok. Talk. 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 About him. About him. That's not polite. That's not polite. Either. Either. Agree. 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 We should help him. We should ask him. No, we should. We should help him. Help him instead. Instead. One more time. I can't believe it. I can. I can believe it. No, I no. I can't believe it. Uh, I can believe it. Robert is addicted. Robert is addicted to his phone. To his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? You're right. You're right. He should not chat. He should not chat. In a meeting. In a meeting. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is not polite. That is not polite. That is not polite. That is not polite. He should answer. He should answer. His messages. His messages. 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 After the meetings. After the meeting. And we should not talk. And we should not talk. About him. About him. That's not polite. Not, not polite. That's not polite. That's not polite. Either. Either. Agree. Agree. We should help him. We should help him. Instead. Instead. Okay, very well. Now here. 
we have another conversation, Virginia, that we're going to practice. Mm -hmm. Oopsie, here. Okay, repeat after me. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy? 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 Did enjoy? No. Did you enjoy the seminar? Ah. Uh, did you? Did you enjoy? Enjoy? enjoy this the seminar seminar the seminar did you enjoy the seminar did joy no did you enjoy and ah, did you enjoy the seminar very well yes i did <laughs> yes i did i learned a lot i learned I love. Tell me more. Tell me more. No, tell me not. Tell me more. Ah, uh, tell me more. I update you. I I tell you. Mm -mm. Updated. Um, uh, I tell you. No. <laughs> updated. Esta T suena como que fuera R. Y la U suena como que fuera A. Updated, updated. I tell it. No, updated. <laughs> I tell it. Escúcheme a mí. Bye. Updated. Uh, I tell it. No. <laughs> Solo esta palabrita vamos a pronunciar. Ok. Updated. I tell it. Updated. Uh, Up, mm -hmm. updated updated okay my networking skills my working my no. Ne no my networking mm. skills my my net working skill i learned i learned I, I learned. Uh, I learned to move. To move from small. From small to smart talk. To to ma, to smart talk. Uh, to smart talk. Great. Great. So, so, did you make, did you make new contacts? New, new contacts? New contacts. Uh, new contacts. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I exchanged. I exchanged. Business cards. Business. No, business, no. Business. Uh, business cards. With 10 people. Win 10 people. Win, no. With. Uh, with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, eh, <laughs> excellent, sorprendente. Okay, repeat after me. Enjoy. Uh, Enjoy. Yo, no, eh, solo yo, repita lo ah, que escucha. Ah, bye, bye. Enjoy. 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 Learn. Learn. Tell me more. Tell more. No, tell more, no. Tell me more. Ah, tell me more. Updated. I dating. No, updated. I out. No, no. I know. Esta U, solo esta palabra, diga. Esta U suena como una A suavecita. Y uh, esta es A, updated. 
outdated. Updated. Outdated. Okay. Networking skills. Networking skills. Okay. Smart talk. Smart, smart talk. Smart talks. Great. Great. Did you make? Did you make? New contacts. New contact. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, yes, I did. No, yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. Did. I exchanged. I exchanged. Exchanged. I exchanged. I exchanged. Business cards. Business cards. Very well. Exchanged. Exchange business okay. cards. Very well. With 10 people. Mm -hmm. With 10 people. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Repeat. Awesome. 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 Ok. Very well. Ya ve que era necesario que nos quedáramos un ratito. Ok. Ay, <ríe> me no, so Ay, no, pregúntele a Julio. Ok, thank you very much. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos en la plataforma, Virginia? De aprendizaje. Dice que ahorita me voy a quedar trabajando en ella porque mm. voy ahí atrasadita. Ah, vaya, entonces trate de update it. Lo que me ahí. ha detenido son unas oraciones que salen ahí. Por ejemplo. Este. ¿En, cuál, en, cuál, ¿En cuál unidad? Ah, ¿En cuál sección? En la... Esa la tengo en el... ¿En el teléfono? Sí, en el teléfono lo hago. Ah, bueno. Entonces, si tiene alguna duda, me puede enviar mensaje de texto, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Ah, sí, exacto. Ok, sí. para ver si le puedo colaborar. Entonces uh -huh. la dejo para que se quede trabajando en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Vaya, teacher. Ok, Gracias. thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, ok? Bye, bye, Virginia. See you. Have a good night. Bye, bye.